Well, we look the part, don't we? Pack to the absolute brand. This is the most in-depth and first ever trip like this I've taken to Ohio. I've hunted it one time before deer hunting. Never killed a deer in Ohio, but we're going from Shepherd's Place in North Carolina to Shepherd's Place in Ohio, but we're going on our own. We've got a good buddy, Daryl Prentice, going to meet us up there. It'll be one for the books, but we got about seven and a half, eight hour drive. It is 3.58 right now. We're going to be on the road by four, so we're doing pretty good. We're going to get there and make a little track supply run and kill a big deer, hopefully. stocked up on the good stuff. I did an online order on the way up the Rural King. They had five bags left. We're getting them all. We're gonna put a bag out in the rain, put new batteries in our camera. Hold her down. I'll be back. Little hurricane. We got it loaded. Obviously, it's gonna get wet tonight, but it's supposed to die right before dark, so we're gonna go in there and get this battery. These get this camera juiced up and get a bag or two out. And we got ponchos. Well, we gotta go around it. Ain't nobody out of power down there. This is legit. All right, let me unload the four wheeler. Opening day is today, and uh, we're headed in here to, we'll call it the Taj Mahal, where Daryl's gonna hunt. He's coming up early in the morning, leaving before daylight, gonna hunt in the afternoon, but we're pretty much washed out of here today. That's still got the remnants of this hurricane coming through. But we're going here to throw a bag of big time down and look at this deer, he's absolutely, I'll be interested, people in the comment section, y'all y'all let us know what you think he'll score, we don't know. He's got to have 20 plus inches off his bases because every picture we get of him, he's got to just pick up more points. But yesterday afternoon was the first time he's been daylight. Um, and this camera's a little sketchy in here. We're in the middle of nowhere, no service, but we got one, we're gonna pull the car and look. About time, waiting on Daryl, it's 11.35. Waiting on Daryl to get here, crack off a few shots, and then we're headed to the stand. Finally, the rain is gone, and there's actually a chance of sun tonight, so very high anticipation for tonight going in. We got all our uh, tethered stuff, our grit stuff on the ground up there. We're gonna probably get in two separate trees. We'll take a better look at it, because the other day when we went, it was absolute, it was a hurricane. And uh, so we, we got in there and dropped our stuff and got out of there and uh, put the Spartan on there to see what, pictures we're getting and the high brows been in there our big big deer um we yeah, ain't really talk about that. you know we ain't decided on a name yet for him daryl i think he's got some names in mind he'll tell us but he's hunting a giant and he's obviously set ready to go uh, we don't know what we're gonna do if we're going it's gonna be hard to pass on high brow but we'll see it's gonna be a fun set it's gonna be exciting this this fall is in the air we're right here on the cusp of october 1st why just stay calm, get in the tree, leaves are falling, and I'm just glad it ain't raining. First time in three days it's not rain. So hopefully the deer will be on their feet. Deer will hurry up and get here. Look at him. He was right. Welcome. Got home on the boat. I know you gotta be tired, but you about to have a shot of adrenaline when you see where you're about to go see it. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> you hooked the brother up. Yeah, oh, this is sweet, man. I want to see this big time. Oh, dude, it's packed in there like cordwood. <laughs> this is how you travel in a hurricane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm taking some in with me tonight. Check his spot down there. Uh, his G2. Jeez, up there by the tree? Yeah. By this the G2? Is, this is stressful shooting. No, I want to end the G2. Jeez. The G2. G I'm the the, to see the furthest one south. Okay. That might be in his G2. It better be. That's where I'm holding. <laughs> Let's go see. <laughs> G2 buck. If it didn't hit it, it's gonna be close. Oh, you split the two and three. <laughs> no, it got in the white of the... Oh, no, you're it's touching. The you're touching That's the a tournament victory. Yeah, you're touching. I'll give it to you. And you said the G2? Yeah, it is. I, was, I thought that was... I couldn't see how it was right. Yeah, right. I mean, technically, that could be the brow. That could be yeah, the G1. Yeah, that's a good heck of a brow. Small. If that's a brow, that's like a deer we're hunting tonight. Yeah, I just wanted it south of the... Look at that right there, though. That's pretty neat. You wonder how some of your errors fly. With only two fletchings at 30 yards, it's touching the rest of them. That gives me a lot more confidence. Good, good tune in there, Timberwolf. Yeah, I like the hand signals. Yeah. At least we're going to smell good when we get out. So we're going to have the soil enough smell going. Daryl's prepared. He's got a lawn chair, a lantern in case we get lost and spend the night. So the best picture we had from your belly. Oh, like that's right. Light up here. So when we kill one, I was like, we set that lantern up there. Get two yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Got to get to the brake pedal here. You want to know my last thoughts, what I've thought about? So, like, I feel like over the years, he's killed hurricane deer, and I've helped him and killed other deer, and he just hooked the brother up, and I'm fixing to go kill a giant. Let's go, baby. Here was here last night in the rains. 
So if he come in there and just does some top band stuff, we probably gonna kill him. But right now we're selling in and got weird, funny, little middle schoolish vibes because this is one of the sweetest spots. I've sat in the deer woods knowing we got two giants in here. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be cool. That extravagant thing right there, they call the sun. We ain't seen the sun in like four days. We cannot escape the rain. Here we are, sunny skies, and we got in the stand. And here we are, rain again, coming off the top of the hill. But at least the wind's good. We were actually. I was getting some anxiety there trying to, about to get out because the wind was in here pretty bad first 15 minutes and then it finally settled in and started sucking down the hill which is why we're where we're at versus being in this primal over here we just cannot get rid of this wet weather and this low pressure system just kind of settled in and I'm hoping that's why the deer ain't showed up on camera I mean, it's been pretty much dead in general. But obviously our two big deer have gone underground for the last 24, 48 hours, which they've been pretty regular. Um, hoping, I mean, obviously you gotta be here to kill them, so we're here and hopefully get one kill tonight. But if not, hopefully tomorrow that High pressure coming in that front, gonna cool things off, we'll get it rolling. A lot of acres on the ground. It's still raining. We'll see. Old Daryl's the chef. Darryl's no the luck chef. tonight. No luck tonight. Cooking, eating, watching football. Dollar General Alfredo sauce, Walmart rotisserie chicken. Hey, ain't nothing no better. I just want to tell you, I got to thinking, but we're trying to get closer to where they're bedding. Right. And it made me realize, you know, the only thing better than finding a buck bed is a buck bed with a buck in it. I, I bet. Right. <laughs> so it gets me emotional too. I get choked up talking about it. So, so I mean, if we can find a buck with a bed in it. Oh, you're going to put the neek on it. Yeah, we might. You're going to put the neek. I'll hit him one of them acorns. But if we can find a buck bed with a buck in it it's, it's the game there. changing time you're my huckleberry you find a buck with a buck a bed a bed see with i told you <laughs> you can't it's a tongue twister just kind of an update we kind of went from a hodgepodge of cutting up with daryl all seriousness we just pulled our set we've been in the last two days and you can we looked at it on the map yesterday sat in the rain for an hour I was just studying, looking at hot eggs. We think.
think these deer, we, the whole time we thought they'd be coming from above us, but there's, it looks like there's three of these draws that meet up there up top, and there's a big flat spot, so we're, uh, we got a north wind, which we're headed from me right now behind the camera, we're behind Ethan right now. The wind right now is, is north, so we're coming down on this east side and gonna go up. And so we got the wind good, we don't want nothing, our wind blowing and nothing we think's bedded and we're just gonna slip down this ridge till we get into some sign, whether it's, looks like the deer have been feeding on acorns, whether it's rubs, scrapes, just to try to get closer where these deer are at. And this was their destination, but they ain't been here the last three days and truly don't think it's because of us because we've been very careful. Um, like coming in here, it's just a storm come through, there's acorns everywhere. So they, they're somewhere I feel like getting on their feet and eating and feeding somewhere um, in between these two big cornfields. We just gotta find them. But tonight we're gonna slip around, hopefully find a tree to get in some good sign because we got that front bushing through tonight. But we'll see, we're gonna slip up there and got everything ready just in case we, but we can sneak up on something, we'll see. A few rows, but even if we go to the other side of this deadfall, I don't want to go too crazy if we just sat on the ground to see if they come through this little saddle right here. Wind's good. Make a setup in this little pinch here. You talk about a rut spot. deer laying up where they can see. They use the wind to their advantage, obviously, coming at their back to where they're laying there. And the wind's at their back and they can see the front side. And that's exactly what all these deer were doing. We just jumped walking out of here. They were all, all facing to the south. They got a north wind. Good scouting mission today. Pretty neat though, trying to learn this place. We're getting, felt some good scraping rubs up here, so. Getting them all in. I still wasn't a giant. So after finding all this sign, uh, looking at the weather, we decided to go ahead and step back and punt. Went up the next morning with a load of big time that we got from Tractor Supply, put it out, put a Spartan on it, just trying to see if we could find out exactly what was up there because we will be coming back to Ohio. Struck out this time, but um, obviously things can be way worse. We're, we're right here on the hills of both these awful storms, hurricanes hitting. We wanted to put the 
link in our description below if you want to donate to the American Red Cross. Uh, we obviously, each week, we normally ask for subscribers, but please, just if you can give a penny, a dollar, that's our ask for this episode is uh, to help out all those who are suffering still from these bad hurricanes. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will be back in Ohio at some point. Next episode, we got a heck of a show coming up from the state of Illinois. You don't want to miss it. Thank y'all. I was shooting like out of 50. He dude. dropped something and got it. I heard something buzzing, dude. There's a wall front there. I'm going to say that. Let me go get some more. No, we're good. We're good now. We got it. It's all clear.